Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play a song called Spun by Sublime with Rome. And it's going to start on a G major chord, and the way you play G major, first finger is going to go A on the second fret, second finger on the low E on the third fret, and the third finger is going to go to the high E on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from G major, we're going to be going to an E minor chord, and the way you play E minor, first finger is going to stay on the A on the second fret, second finger is going to go to the D on the second fret, and if you strum all those together, that makes it E minor chord it sounds really sad and then from E minor we're going to go into an A minor chord and the way you play A minor first finger is going to go B on the first fret second finger is going to go D on the second fret and the third finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret and if you strum all those together that makes an A minor chord it sounds really really sad and then from A minor we're going to go into a D major chord and the way you play D major first finger goes G on the second fret second finger on the high E on the second fret and the third finger is going to go to the B on the third fret and if you strum just the D, G, B, and E, that'll get you your clearest sound with that. It's called D major. And the bulk of our verse and, and our chorus actually is going to be just that G major, E minor, A minor, D major. But then when we get to our pre chorus part, then we're going to go to a C major chord. And the way you play C major, first finger is going to go B string on the first fret, second is going to go D on the second fret, like same place as they are for A minor. And then the third finger is going to go to the A string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a C major chord and it sounds really, really happy. And on the pre chorus, we're basically going from C major to a D major. And then the C major, and then a D major. But a lot of times with a song like this, um, and we'll talk about ex exactly what they're doing in, in the song in, in just a minute. But a lot, of times, a lot of times with a song like this, to make it more interesting, I like adding what's called a strum pattern to it. And one of my favorite 4-4 four, four strum patterns for a song like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So if you took the G major and just tried that, you'd have long, or down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. So you want to do that so that your right hand kind of gets used to doing that a lot. And if we try that through our verse and our intro progression, we'd have the G with the down, down, up, up, down, E minor, down. So we've got to go about that G down up. Kind of, kind of work through the tune, and there's a little variation on, on our bridge where, where you would do the G major with a down, E minor with a down, and then we do the C, which is down, down, up, which is kind of weird. So actually, maybe, maybe we should try that through our bridge. We have G with down, E minor down, C down. But there's a really, really cool strum pattern that they're kind of using a variation of through the um, through the song, and it's one of my favorite patterns, kind of working off a sixteenth note instead of an eighth note. And the down, down, up, up, down, if it's something called an eighth note, or kind of working off of that, where if you're doing your foot tap, if you divide that into two parts, one, two, one, two, one, two, that's called an eighth note. What a sixteenth note is is where you divide that into four four parts. So like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, called a 16th note and one of my favorite 16th note strum patterns is a long down 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 up up down down up down up and what I mean by that is like if you took the G and just did a down for four one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. that's what you would be doing on the first beat and then on the second beat you'd be doing a down on one a down on three and a up on four so you'd be going down down up Up 
up on two and a down on three. So you'd be going one, two, three, four, one, up, down, one, up, down, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then when you get to beat four, you'd be doing down, up, down, right along with the one, two, three, four. So down, up, down, up. You have the long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down. So we tried that on our first chorus progression. We have the G down. on the 16th note strum pattern where you take the G and we're going to do the down down up on it and then do a down and then kill it. So we go down down up down kill it and then we do another down but it's going to kind of feel like it's on an up foot and another down on an up foot. So all together you got down down up down down We tried that through our verse progression, then we had down, 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 E minor, down, 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 E minor, down, down, A minor, down, 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 D, down, 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 G, down, 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 E minor, down, 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 A minor, down, 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 D, down, 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 but then when you get to your pre-chorus part, then you're doing the whole strum pattern the way we talked about it. The down, 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 down.
part we talked about earlier kind of comes in, but if you're doing it with the 16th, one really cool way to do that would be doing the G with a down, down, up, and then the E minor with a down, down, up, and then the C with a down, up, down, up, down. So you got G with down, down, up, E minor, down. with kind of an eighth note feel where you do the G with a down, down, and E minor, down, down, and then we go to C with a down, 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 kind of as a, as a build up at, at that last part. So just to try that whole bridge part again, and you could do it with just the 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 the, the um, down, down, up, up, down, up, but but I really like that 16th note pattern, so you may want to try that, that bridge with the down, 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 Our solo part, which is basically just like our intro and our, our chorus and our verse, where we got the G down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, 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 and then seventh fret on the high E. So we got eight, eight, seven. And then we're gonna kinda repeat that. We go eighth on the B, eighth on the high E, and then seventh on the high E, and then we go to tenth fret on the B string, and then go back to eighth fret on the B string. So we got eight, eight, seven, eight, eight, seven, ten, eight, 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 seven, eight, eight, seven, ten, eight. And then there's kind of a tag at the end of that where you're going eight, eight, seven, and then going to tenth fret on the high E. So eight, eight, seven, ten on the high E. And then you kind of come back to the eight, eight, seven, ten, eight at the end of that. So you may want to try playing around with that. And then there's another really cool part at the end of the song where, where, where there's kind of an acoustic guitar in the background that does some really cool arpeggios. And what arpeggio means is where you're breaking up the chord. And there are a couple ways to do this. I actually like using some smaller versions of the chords going on because I think this kind of sounds like the recording. Where you do a down on the G chord and then go 7 on the G and then 7 on the high E and then 8th fret on the B string and then 7th fret on the G string. So it's almost like you're jumping into a D shape, but on 7th and 8th fret. So you got a G chord. And then you'd be going to E minor, doing a down. And then going high E on 3rd. And then, uh, oh, I'm sorry, 4th fret on the G. And then high E on the 3rd. And then 5th fret on the B. And then 4th fret on, on the G string. So this is like a little teeny E minor chord, actually, is what, what you're, if you're holding down all, all three of those notes at the same time. So you got E minor, 4, 3, 5, 4. And then we'd be going to A minor and doing a down. And then going 5th fret on the G. And then high E5, B string 5, and then G string 5. So you got A minor, 5, 5, 5, 5. And then we go to a D chord. And kind of do a down strum. And then do 7 on the G. High E on the 5. B string on the 7 and then G string on the 7. So it'd be like, and that's actually kind of a little D chord. So you're doing like a little G chord, a little E minor chord, a little A minor chord, and then a little D, D major chord. That's kind of the arpeggio. So you got a G chord, 7, 7, 8, 7, E minor, 4, 3, 5, 4, A minor, 5, 5, 5, 5, D major, 7, 5, 7, 5, 7, and then a big G chord, kind of the end. So I think that's a really cool way to end it, is kind of using those, those little chords for the arpeggios. But that's the basis of how you could play Spun by Sublime with Rome. So good luck!